the next thing we're going to do is controlled articular rotation for the shoulder blade or the scapula right in through here. So here's the trick when you do this. Everything else should be stationary and not moving except for that shoulder blade itself. So I'm going to show you side profile slightly like this so you can see the shoulder. You're going to make sure everything else is nice and, and tight on the opposite side. Keep your finger in line with the seam of your pants or your shorts. You can only go up and down with the shoulder or with the hand. You can't go forward and back like that, that's cheating. So what you're going to do from there, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to raise it all the way up towards your ear as far as you can. Then you're going to bring it forward as far as you can. Slowly lower it down into a circle and then bring your shoulder blade back towards midline or towards the spine. From there you're going to kind of scrape the shoulder blade up against the spine until your shoulder reaches all the way towards your ear and then repeat that process. You're going to throw that shoulder forward, lower it down into a nice circle and then bring the shoulder blade all the way back. Bring your shoulder blade up towards the ear, scraping it along the spine until you reach your end point and freeze. You can do another one or you can go start to go the opposite direction. So I'll go the opposite direction. I'm holding it all the way up towards my ear, rolling the shoulder back, shoulder blade back, and then lowering it down along the spine, scraping it along the spine, reaching my fingers all the way down towards the floor, rolling that shoulder forward, bringing it all the way up towards my ear again, and nice, slow, and controlled through that whole motion. 